there has been intense international scrutiny or international interest, I should say, on the fate of Vikram, that's ISRO's lander on the moon. It's on the surface of the moon. The news, um, unfortunately, is not very good, but it's not entirely hopeless either. That's what we are led to believe right now. Apparently, the lunar is intact. It's in one piece after communications were lost just moments before it was supposed to make a soft landing on the lunar surface near the South Pole. But unfortunately, there is no communication with the rover just yet. So what does that really mean? Is there any scope of a miracle happening? Because miracles have happened in situ situations where communications have been lost in the past. Joining us in the studio, Madan Lal, former deputy director of the Vikram Sarabhai Space Station uh, Space Center. Space Station would have been nicer, though. <laughs> Thanks sir, very much for being with us. Dr. Madhavan Nair, former ISRO chief, and Alok Chatterjee, the mission interface manager at NASA and at the Jet Propulsion Lab. Thanks very much uh, for being with us. Uh, Dr. Madhavan Nair, is it a hopeless situation as far as Vikram is concerned? Well, uh, I, I have not come to that conclusion yet uh, for the simple reason. The image what we have received is uh, the Vikram uh, is in uh, in a complete uh, shape and it has not disintegrated. So that gives some hope that if we are able to point the antenna in the right direction, either the orbiter or from the ground station, if you are able to establish a contact with the lander, uh, we will be able to analyze the status of various instruments, including the rover inside the lander, and uh, there's a ray of hope. Uh, ISRO is trying their best, and uh, I'm sure they will try succeed in the days to come. You're confident they will succeed, uh, Dr. Nair. I mean, that's a very hopeful statement from somebody with your experience. So you believe that they will succeed, sir? Uh, well, I think, uh, see, we must uh, look at this mission uh, in a proper perspective. Uh, you know, the descent from the lunar orbit uh, to the surface of the moon has been uh, precisely carried out. And uh, until about 2.4 uh, kilometer above uh, the lunar surface, the trajectory was uh, almost like a textbook performance. Uh, when it changed over from the high thrust mode to the low thrust mode for the precise uh, control, uh, something went wrong. That operation is an extremely complex one. Uh, in the sense, you know, it depends on the onboard sensors like the cameras, the laser altimeters, the gyroscopes, and above all, the onboard computer and the algorithm which is built into it. Uh, uh, the output of this is uh, controlling the four thrusters uh, which are made for the first time, and in case any of this element has got uh, anomaly, uh, it can result in a, a, a catastrophe. Right. But uh, uh, we have to analyze the data received until the loss of signal uh, to, uh, re to get to the root cause for which already a committee has been appointed right. by the ISRO, and I'm sure they will be able to come out with that. Okay, but uh, Mr. Chatterjee, just is, coming to you. Uh, it is not the soft landing. As sure, well, sure, I, I take that point. Mr. Chatterjee, let me come to you next, sir. Um, there have been space missions. In fact, even ISTRO has had instances when communication with satellites has, uh, has not happened for a period of time, but then it's been reestablished. Uh, what is that contingent upon, the uh, restoration of communication as a first step? Well, um, yeah, it has it has happened in the past. I think uh, uh, Chandrayaan one and even Mangalyaan had a little bit of uh, that situation, but in that case, the the land or the orbiter or the satellite was not really uh, destroyed. Um, so there was always that possibility that uh, you can restart the communication. All the subsystems, if they are working fine, then it would be easy to do that. But in this case, I think what has happened is that even though uh, the, the lander is supposed to be intact on the ground, uh, but who knows what subsystems have been uh, malfunctioning or not functioning, um, or the tilt of the lander, which way it's directing, uh, whether the communication can be established in that sense or not. So at least there's the good news is that, um, you know, the lander has is in, 
is in one piece, basically. And uh, the, the effort will definitely uh, keep going, but ISRO will do all its best yeah. to uh, make sure that they establish the communication, if that is possible at all. Yeah. So I'm not uh, giving up hope, uh, uh, you know, mm. just like anybody else who's in this business. Yeah. There's always that chance. Yeah. And, uh, but then again, as the time progresses, the, it, it diminishes over a period of time. But I'm sure ISRO will continue to do all its best for the next 10 days or so, yeah, sure. so to, to make it happen. Yeah. Mr. Madhulal, uh, uh, there would be redundancies in the communication system algorithm as well on the lander. What I mean to ask is, if the lander, assuming it's alive, doesn't is is unable to communicate or doesn't receive some orders it it works autonomously doesn't it it's supposed to try and establish communications by itself as well right no the point is not that i think uh, as uh, we well, I think, uh, is though we have uh, you know come to know that it is in one piece but as uh, the other speaker said we really do not know the condition of the various subsystems and secondly, the way, you know, we saw the deviations from, you know, before the 2.1 kilometers, obviously it, that indicated that there is a problem. Yeah. There is a technical snag. To me, it appears that uh, there must have been some unbalanced force which has caused the rotation of the lander. Now, as a result, what has happened is, because that deviation started well before 2.1 kilometers. Yes, it did. So that means the but whole But there was an effort to correct as well, which no, we no, noticed. No, no, no. The, the point on, is on that 2.1 yeah. kilometers, it lost the link. So that means the antenna, which was supposed to be pointing towards the it moved. orbiter, yeah. it has moved in a different direction. And possibly, it is looking at the moon's surface. And as a result, you are not able to communicate with the orbiter. Now, the question is, when it has landed, let us assume it has landed on one piece, despite the fact that if we look into the facts before 2.1 kilometers, it does indicate that speed must have been higher. So there are two possibilities. One, that the speed, though higher, but not very significantly different from the speed for which the structure was designed. But sir, then the main engine would have fired as well to slow it down to a point where the structure no, remains intact. No, the point intact. is, once it is, is, that is possible? once it is rotating and all that, how the control systems will be working and what orientation it will be, that will not be known. Those things they will find out based on the data which is available before 2.1 kilometers through the post-flight analysis. Yeah. Okay, the point is if it has landed on the moon's surface in one piece, that means the velocity, the speed at which it has landed was not really significantly different from the speed for which the structure was designed. Secondly, the other possibility is the surface on which it has landed, it was not really very hard. Perhaps the loose sand was there, so that provided some sort of cushion. So that these are the two possibilities why the structure has the landed in one piece. The thing is if it's piece. tilted, if it's tilted, you ah, can't write it. That is the point. If it is tilted. You cannot write it. You cannot change it. Hmm. So if the antenna is still pointing towards the moon surface, then the possibility of really reviving is very remote. That is what I feel. Well, let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, we still await uh, any some sort of detail on, on what uh, Vikram really looks like. And perhaps in the interest of transparency, it'd be great if Istro at some stage can release that image as well. So many people want to know. I'd like to thank you gentlemen very much for joining us.